Welcome to the Nokia Optical Networking Learning Essentials video series from the Nokia Optical Network Certification Program, an end-to-end -end learning program supporting Nokia 1830, PSS, VWM, and NFMT-based networks. Today, I'm going to explain how to manage a trail over a GMPLS L0 network. This video has been created based on the Nokia Optical Networking Fundamentals course. In this video, I'll show how to use NFMT, the Nokia Optical Network Management System, to visualize a source-based restoration or SBR trail deployed over a GMPLS L0 control plane enabled network. Nominal and current routes will be explained as well as their visualization on the tool. Then a failure scenario is illustrated demonstrating what happens to the transported traffic after a failure is recovered. NFMT is the Nokia Optical Network Management System. It is focused on the 1830 equipment family, even though it can support other network element types. NFM stands for Network Function Manager, while T stands for Transport. The 1830 PSS equipment can operate in multiple optical network segments, from the customer's premises to the core. These node types can move several transport technologies, such as IP, SDH, Ethernet, and so on over a common optical transport network or OTN infrastructure in a wavelength multiplexing domain. The control plane network shown in this example is comprised of three nodes connected in a ring topology. Control plane means that GMPLS software can be activated on these nodes. This software is responsible for the automatic rerouting of traffic in case of failure. A control plane enabled network can also be referred to more generically as an ASIN network, where ASIN stands for Automatically Switched Optical Network. In most cases, in the ASIN network, the backup path is calculated, or at least the related resources reserved, only upon failure notification. That is, the system will allocate at runtime the non-reserved resources available in the network. In our example, a 10 GBE service is terminated onto a pair of input, output, or I.O. cards equipped in the PSS 24X shelves where the service is terminated. The signal passes through the photonic shelves across the uplink cards. Let's move to NFMT interface. As we previously said, the 10 GBE service is deployed over a trail defined in an ASIN network. If no extra protection mechanism is required, the default profile assigned to the trail is SBR or source-based restoration. Let's see what SBR is about by accessing the menu, Operate, ASIN, NPA, where NPA stands for Network Protection Architecture. This is just the set of resources assigned to the ASIN domain. At trail provisioning time, a nominal route is computed by NFMT. This can be visualized by opening the trails table view. On the left, the list of the entities used by the nominal path is shown. Note that when opening this view, the nominal route is shown immediately as this information is retrieved from the NFMT database. The route actually used by the traffic is called the current route. If no failure is present on the nominal route, the two routes are identical. The current route can be seen from the same view but on the right side. The current route requires a few seconds as this information must be retrieved at runtime from the nodes carrying the trail displayed. The presence of a capital N in the resources list informs the operator that the resources currently used by the traffic overlap with those selected at provisioning time. In other words, nominal and current routes are identical. Another way to visualize the routes at a higher level is to display them directly on the network map. The user can switch between the nominal and the current route by selecting the corresponding flag. Let's see what happens in case of failure. A failure can happen anywhere in the network, as soon as a transmission problem is detected. A backup route is computed considering the available resources at that given time. The main benefit of this approach is that the restoration mechanism is flexible and makes extremely efficient use of spare network resources. A network failure can be simulated by locking one of the links used by the current route. This action is useful for maintenance reasons, for instance. From the main menu, select Operate, ASIN, NPA. Select the NPA containing our specific network resources, L0 network in our example, and then select one of the links that are currently used to carry traffic. 
right-click it and set the administrative status to locked. The consequence is that GMPLS will start computing a new route for all trails involved in the network issue. Then, the new route will be allocated and traffic restored. Let's see the status of our trail as a result of the rerouting. We can notice that the resources reserved by the nominal route on the left side and the resources used by the current route on the right side are different. The N icon has been replaced by C, indicating that traffic is currently using resources different from the nominal one, and specifically, those from the current route only. Let's move to the map view to have a quick idea of the new route taken by the trail after traffic restoration. The nominal route is obviously unchanged, as this is the original one, while the current route passes through a new node to reach the same termination, avoiding the unavailable link. This automatic protection mechanism is very powerful, as it can withstand multiple failures if resources are available in the network. What about the service on top of the trail? It will follow the trail, which acts as a server for it. What happens when the failure in the network is recovered? This depends on the trail configuration. It can be revertive or not. In the first case, the trail will automatically switch back to the nominal route after a configurable amount of time. In the second case, the trail will not switch back to the nominal route and, if needed, the operator can manually trigger the switch back to the original nominal route. Let's put back the link into unlocked status. Our trail is not revertive, as shown under ASIN revertive status, set to manual. Let's wait for GMPLS notification to confirm that the link is back to normal. An SNC ready to revert notification will follow. At this point, a simple switch to nominal command will switch the traffic back to the nominal route. This is confirmed in the table view where the N for nominal is set back again in the current route and in the map view where the current map is graphically updated. Today, we have seen how to visualize an ASIN trail. We have seen how nominal and current route are reported on NFMT and what happens when a failure is affecting the transmission. Thanks for watching and look for more videos in our Optical Networking Learning Essentials series. Whether your goal is to enhance your optical networking skills or demonstrate your expertise through one of our four industry-recognized certifications, the Optical Network Certification Program is here to get you, your career, and your organization on the right path. Our program features nine instructor-led courses developed by our team of subject matter experts using industry best practices, use case-driven examples, and hands-on labs. Learn more and get started today by visiting our website. Thank you.